prayer can be difficult. It can be challenging. It can be troublesome for all sorts of believers. Not getting the right answer, not knowing if you're praying in the right way or for the right things or for the right reasons. Why is it that it seems as though my prayer doesn't get answered? Throughout time, Christians have been taught how to pray. We hear of John the Baptist's disciples teaching them how to pray, and Jesus himself teaches us how to pray also. And what we know of as the Lord's Prayer, Jesus teaches us to pray to our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. As we look at the introduction and first petition of the Lord's Prayer, we see that Jesus gets us to place our prayers in the identity of God, that he is our Father, we are his children, that he is truly, dearly beloved by us and we by him, that even he loves us, that he would give his only son to die for us, that prayer is not about whether or not we are worthy, whether or not our prayer is worthy of being answered, but dependent upon who God is. And God is holy. He is hallowed. He will always be holy. There's nothing that we can do that will change that. There is nothing that we can do that will change God or his word or his promises to us. And sometimes that can be challenging. Sometimes that can be difficult when things are not going our way. When our prayers are not being answered the way we want them to be. But it can also be comforting. To know that God does not change. His word does not change. His promise to us does not change. His love for us does not change. That the love that he had for us on the day that he sacrificed his only beloved son is no greater or no less than it is for us today. Still, God is our dear father who loves us as his dear beloved children. And as we pray to him based on his identity, on his work, on his words, and his promises, then we will see the, trump, the comfort that his promise and his word gives, the comfort that his cross gives. When we pray in light of his identity and look at each of these petitions of the Lord's Prayer upon who he is, then we will find comfort in our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Amen.